welcome to tech mode so today what we are going to learn is that we will basically uh, creating a selenium grid and we'll be learning a basic hello world test in protector so our main motive is to have a uh, protector test cases for a particular website and it is you they are using a selenium and we are going to load uh, we are going to create a grid which will contain a firefox as well as a chrome node and we are going to attach it and that all will be run on docker so you go you guys don't have to install anything at all apart from docker so if you have no clue about what is docker and all you can watch my other tutorials and uh, it's a new trend and definitely will help you so let us start you can uh, you can get the compose file using this url if you wanted to have but right now i will be doing it uh, with you guys so let's start so let's go to command line and right now i have an empty directory okay so what i am doing is that i will be creating a project so i will calling npm init and i will name as demo p and i will just enter 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 yes i don't want to watch all that things now so if you, uh, so what I will be doing is that I will just copy few things. Uh, this is a protector demo, protector demo test case. It's a super complete calculator basically, and that we want to test. But right now, what we are doing is that uh, here we are will copy this in a spec. So first of all, I have to create it spec dot js. So I will do spec dot js and again i have to create config.js so two files two files are already done and before that you have to install a protector so i'll just install it again uh, so i have already installed it sorry i have already installed 3.0.3 .3 version and if so this, that was the previous command if you run it so let me see if i have a protector installed or not so I have already installed protector double T. So I have already version three installed. So no need to worry. As well as you have to install web driver. I will. Uh, uh, but right now what we are doing is that we'll be using a grid. So we don't need a web browser, web driver for it. So all the grid that will be done there, that will be hosted on our Docker machine. So make sure your Docker is on. So I have started my docker and you can see the little whale and before that i have to copy the spec file and i will do sublime dot i will open these files in sublime this is spec file i have copied and i will copy the config file also and here it is config file and our package JSON file doesn't have anything right now and we don't want it right now to run so this is how we run the protected test cases but it requires a selenium grid a selenium hub to be registered at this here so right now we don't have any kind of uh, hub so what we are going to do is that now let let is that we'll be using we'll be creating a docker compose file so i have given you this link just go to this link and we'll give you a brief, brief introduction about this so if you go to my so this is a docker con, docker composer file sorry for that and what we are doing is that uh, let me explain you uh, what exactly is this file so first of all what we are going to do is that we'll copy this to our directory so let me copy it and let me create a file docker compose compose.yml and uh, it will be visible in this here and i will just paste it so what we what we are doing is that we just it's a yml file we are mentioning that it's a version 2 so in the selenium grid we have a concept we have a one main one hub and two firefox two one chrome and one uh, firefox node will be attached to it so 
here it's a very simple grid our grid name is pro pro grid and we are fetching it from the image of selenium uh, 2.5.3 and if you want three uh, selenium version three just use three or n anything else you want and if you don't if you don't mention anything else it will it will by default will get the latest that latest will be 3.2.0 and we are naming our container as a pro grid privilege true is required for that we are just a privileged user and we are mapping the ports as well as we are configuring grid for the grid timeouts and we are creating a network and this network will be shared with those these two nodes also so similarly we have added a node chrome and similarly we have added the node firefox and these those are also coming with this uh, as a 5.3 means uh, they will have a, their their version according to 2.5.3 version of selenium and we have a vnc port where you can look around how tests are going to execute so you can just map this port to your uh, vnc port and you will be able to look at it so i'll show you now so hope you guys have understand docker thing and here in this in this one i have actually explained here that how you can run it so docker up uh, i will not include minus d so we'll go to command line in minus so we have to run this thing from this grid right and i'll do minus d so it will say it will take a time and if we are a local if you are on local it will download i have already downloaded it so it, it's telling me that i have created a pro grid with two nodes attached so let's see and if you wanted to see oh, what is the port they have so just type docker compose ps and it will be give, it will give it will present you the different ports where the grid is so grid is running at this port and i will copy it and i will come to this so as you can see the grid is running and we have a fireman firefox and one chrome is available here so cool and as you can see here that vnc port is already uh, also there you want to connect so what i am mean doing is that i will be uh, passing to for i'll let me open safari if you have a mac you can just open the safari if you are on window you can install the safari or any vnc viewer you would like to use uh, let me close this i'm not using safari for this uh, for the tutorial sake you will use a chrome extension of vnc right for you guys only and i'll mention this uh, enter the address and connect okay it's not coming anyway use any vnc viewer generally it will work i don't know why it's not working screen sharing and this will always work i don't know why nine okay secret secret is a password s c k r t secret now you can see the open they are running ubuntu and i am in the vnc right now so let's start our predictor test case and we have already pointed as you can see the sublime text in the spec config config file that framework we are using a jasmine and still name address this one spec we have already mentioned and what we have to do is that we have to add chrome to it so Google. you have to use capabilities that we have to mention product, we have to mention the product that you have to use chrome for it so let me see if i'm able to find yes here we go capability is equal to this thing so what we will do is that we'll come here and here will change to chrome right that's all now what we have to do is that our server is running we'll do protector and con.js hit enter and 
and we're getting data. Maybe due to config error, you're getting. Well, let me remove first and see if it's we are able to run it or not. Okay, there's something strange with the specs. Let me see. So it's work fine. So as you can see, it's working, and let's get us started. Mm -hmm. Here, uh, I just flashed out, right? So let me again run it, and as you can see, we have open URL, and it's all running on a container, as you can see, and it passed the test. So this is how we have made. Uh, so we have made a uh, grid. It's uh, continuously lurking, uh, l running on a Docker machine and we have not installed any kind of selenium uh, or anything chrome extension nothing uh, so we are we are just running our code that is here directly to directly to the hub and we we can view them in a docker containers so uh, suppose this was a simple test now you want to have multiple tests or maybe you wanted to have scale this grid for example you want four firefox node so what you can do you can do is that you just run this command and let me run it again see so what this will do is that it will add three three nodes of firefox again to this it's stopping that and it will again add four firefox to it so so now you can imagine you have a fully working grid uh, which is continuously running and uh, it will create a docker container and you can scale those containers as well as now containers and all so as we can now you can look at it we have a we will definitely will have a four so three five four firefox right now running n0 chrome so this is how it's done and do check out i have already mentioned how you can come connect to uh vnc port and if you wanted to restart you can just come or use this command and if you wanted to stop just use this command and let me stop my grid now and so this is this is all guys so we have successfully created a simple hello world program in hello world uh, test in an angular uh, protector and we have run successfully against them in a selenium grid running in a docker so it's amazing guys uh, i uh, check out my other video tutorials and all and let me know what other doubts you have and anything that you have faced problem in in this one and make sure you have a correct version of node and all if you get these kinds of error that i am getting previously make sure you use uh, protector 3.0.0 and you should have a node around 4.2 or 2. so that's all thank you guys